Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Anuj, a first year internal medicine resident at GMC Nagpur and in this one I'll be telling you exactly how do you study from first year all the way to final year so that you are well versed for your NEET PG or next whichever exam that you'll be facing. Next it has been proposed since a long time. It has not taken action as of the moment that I'm recording this video. It might take in the future. I've given NEET PG, I've secured a rank of 1307 and 99.4% I'll in NEET PG. Apart from that, I've got nine distinctions and two gold medals in MBBS, which makes me qualified to exactly tell you the guide so that you study well in your MBBS years so that your NEET PG becomes good or next becomes good. Whatever be the scenario, be it NEET PG or next, make sure to remember that it does not matter what is the name of the exam. Eventually, in the end, if you boil down to it, it will be just 200 questions or 300 or 400 questions. That will be about the clinical cases, the diseases, the treatments, the complications, the investigation. Everything about the human body has remained the same. Only the names of the exams are changing so even if i say need pg instead of next don't be alarmed it's absolutely the same just the name has been changed most important thing you have to remember is there is no alternative to study you have to study as much as possible because this is a course you are going to become a doctor and it is not easy it is absolutely not easy so you don't ever think that it is going to be easy it's going to be a difficult thing and you have been prepared for it this is just the initial years of your starting point that you're doing your mbbs you're doing your internship the entire journey is extremely long you then have to do your post graduation super specialization and then fellowships so it's a long long road i think as much as mbbs uh, course is there of five and a half or six years more than that is the journey afterwards so even if you complete your mbbs you're not even halfway there to become qualified doctor that you want to become all right so now that i've uh, given this basic information let us start with first year mbbs this is the best year of your life because it goes downhill from there. This is the most enjoyable experience in your entire MBBS because you don't really have to study that much and you've just come out of the NEET UG uh, and you are a superstar because you've just got a medical college and an MBBS degree. So let us start. In first year, my friends, very important to know that you have to enjoy as much as possible. That's what I tell to every first year junior who comes up to me seeking advice. What do we do? What do we study? You just chill out. You just enjoy. You just live your life because in first year, you karne mil raha hai, chal ke nahi milega. So make sure that you are enjoying and are with your enjoyment whatever you're doing make sure you're putting just one hour aside one hour or one hour 30 minutes aside every day so that you can be studying consistently in the long run so what you have to do is that even though i know that there are personality development sessions going on in your college or just random time pass or uh, you have just made new friends you're going out a lot i know that all of that happens but you just have to set aside 60 minutes that's all i'm asking you just one hour aside every day just study for that one hour and then you are good for the entire semester that's really my promise to you that if you study one hour every day in your semester exams you won't have that much stress of course during the semester exams the two three weeks following that you will be studying a lot all right so first time mbbs let's talk about anatomy physiology and biochemistry i have told about the books i have told about the sources in all of my different youtube videos so here i'll be just telling you to what all of the things that you can be focusing on while you're studying anatomy me, especially in first year MBBS. So in first year MBBS anatomy, you have to make sure that you do all of anatomy well, not just the gross anatomy. So people usually go over and just read about gross anatomy quite a lot and they leave out embryology, histology, general anatomy, which are parts of anatomy which will fetch you marks in your prof exams as well as NEET PG. So in NEET PG, they do ask a lot of questions from general anat, from the types of joints, from the types of muscles. Not just that, they also ask from the histology. They give us different types of cartilages to identify what is to be done and uh, a lot of different questions from gross anatomy as well so make sure you do all of these very well and you go to your practicals because dissection is the one practical which is never going to come up in your entire life once it's done in first year that's the basic ideology for anatomy don't just study gross anatomy study every single part of anatomy because it's essentially more high yield during need pg also you will realize that the embryology that you had studied in first year that will come back to you uh, in the future you will remember about the development of the heart the development of the notochord all from your anatomy classes that you saw while the professors were teaching you that will come back to you Talking about physiology, physiology is the basic of medicine. Every single chapter in physiology that you occur, you have to reread that again in medicine. So you remember that one topic or one chapter of ECG that you studied in physiology. As an internal medicine resident, I have an entire book just for ECG. And the first three to five chapters of that book, extremely well detailed physiology of the heart and the conduction system. So the physiology entirely, it is repeated in medicine. And I want you to read physiology from a good standard book. Same goes for anatomy, preferably Gray's Anatomy. You have to make sure your physiology is strong because that will definitely save your medicine in the future all right next we move on to biochemistry in biochemistry you have to remember that all the diseases that you study you are very well versed with the cycles that means you know the urea cycle you know the Krebs cycle you know amino acid cycles but the diseases coming out of these cycles are also very very important so every single disease that you encounter in biochemistry is a potential question for need pg so make sure that whenever you're studying a biochemistry a little bit pay attention to if they are talking about diseases for example mucopolysaccharides if they are talking about mucopolysaccharides 
listeners they will talk about mucopolysaccharidosis so herler's disease hunter disease all of these are different mucopolysaccharides and you should try to remember what is the different clinical manifestation of it try to solve clinical correlation questions from it if i was a first year student i would definitely go with marrow's first year program so marrow has just bought uh, its first year program and basically what it does is that it's not at all the neat pg videos uh, the, the repurposed into making the first year program no that's not like that they have reshot the entirety of first year and at physio and biochem and they have shot it in a way for a student who has entered medical college for the first time and they are encountering these subjects for the first time these videos are prof prepared that means they will be really very helpful for you in the prof exams and they will cover everything from the basics in contrary to the neat pg videos what happens is that in marrow you get a lot of information on how to solve the questions but in the prof videos you'll get exactly idea how to write the answers in the question papers so the highlight of this entire program is dr ashwini kumar sir he is an incredible legendary best faculty of anatomy in the entire neat pg era at this moment there is nobody better than him to teach you exactly the details of it during my neat pg i watched a lot of his classes when he was in dbmci and now he is in marrow so it's a wonder that you are getting that teacher i wish i had that teacher not just that the question bank which marrow has got is completely redesigned i've solved a few of the questions and they are designed for you to make your concept stronger and also your prof stronger the pearls is also a different set and i would say that it is a good investment for your first year journey however you must pair it with good standard books and also going to your regular practical classes otherwise if you buy the subscription and don't watch it there is no point in it that's what i would do i usually don't recommend marrow for first year students but since this is an exclusive first year plan i would recommend that you just go check it out just look at it see what are all the features and then you can plan on buying it why am i telling you this marrow subscription because from second year we'll be talking about neat pg preparation quite a lot moving on from first year you go to your second year and in your second year my friends this is where you get serious and this is where you actually start your journey to become a doctor in your first year you are just learning the extreme basics of everything but in second year you are actually starting your clinics the proper clinics that means when you enter your ward somebody actually is going to appreciate that you have come for the posting right i urge you all to please go to your clinics because i see a lot of students just miss out on the postings of second year there is no point in working hard for neat ug if you are not going to be going to your postings in second year the neat ug that period when you worked so hard to get into a good hospital the reason of that was that you could get good clinical postings and if you don't attend that if you don't read good clinical books at this point there is no point in your studying you might as well be in aims delhi or in some random peripheral gmc or peripheral private college it would not matter if you are not attending postings it does not matter where you did your ug from only and only if you do your postings well that's when it actually molds you to become a good doctor in your postings you might not be understanding a lot of things so what i want you to do is just go to the resident and then ask them a lot of students come up to me and ask me directly ki what are some of the cases that we should study so i tell them okay in medicine you are coming you study rheumatic heart disease you study stroke you study myocardial infarction you study acute kidney injury and you study something like diabetes all of these are common cases that you find in the ward and then what happens is that you go back home and from your pathology from your microbiology from your pharmacology you go ahead and you absorb all of this information in your brain i am not saying to read medicine i am only telling you to read pathopharma micro because the next few come up when your teachers will be explaining to you during your rounds ki exactly what is happening tumko thoda bahut samajh mein aayega subsequently as your weeks progress on in a particular posting i want you to read the clinical books of those subjects for medicine you can definitely go with bulur sir's practical guide or you can also go with kundu sir's practical guide you can also go with mastering clinicals that's also a great investment to do for surgery you can go with makhanlal shah for obgyn you have to use datta so these are some of the basic books that you can use for your practicals please make sure that you are attending your practicals i cannot say this more no matter how many subscriptions you buy if you don't go to your clinics there is no way you're going to become a good doctor please remember this just go to your clinics and just spend some time over there go to the beds of the patient and just ask them questions learn about how the disease is progressing how it is affecting behave like a doctor since your second year and make sure you develop that ideology moving on uh, how do you exactly study what are the important subjects all the three subjects of second year are absolutely important these three together combine 75% of medicine patho pharma and micro if you combine it is 75% of medicine microbiology itself is an infectious disease unit that we can do in medicine so medicine has an entire unit like rs and cvs we have infective diseases so entirety of microbiology is an infectious disease entirety of pharmacology is present in every single disease in medicine every single pathology that you read about is going to be seen in medicine so in medicine everything like 75% of it and i would say is second year mbbs subjects with physiology so you have to make sure that you are doing this very 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 well it is very important and once you get these subjects correctly done there is no stopping you my friends there is no stopping you read good standard books and please make sure that you are learning the pharmacology drugs along with doses so what i see a lot of students do is that they do know the name of the drug okay i know domperidone but what is the dose of 
of the domperidone how much should we give to in a pediatric patient how much should we give in an adult patient what is amoxicillin what is the dose of it what is ciftriaxone what is the dose of it so every drug that you read please remember the dose otherwise there is no nothing differentiating you from a pharmacist the pharmacist also knows what is the name of the drug what makes your doctor is when to give it when to not give it and how much to give it so please make sure that you read all of this very well right in second year pharmacology that's what you have to do micro you have to learn every single part please make sure you read your parasites well you please make sure you make your parasite notes well because the most high yield part of entirety of microbiology is parasitology they ask more questions from parasites than they ask from bacteria and viruses because people leave parasites so always remember parasites mein jitne bhi hai chote bade amoeba se leke ascaris tak jitne bhi hai you read the entirety of parasites nothing much to say about patho just one thing that please read robins yes please read robins it's one of the best books written about pathology it will give you an idea about patho like nothing else so please read robins in pathology you can also read hematology by dr kavthalkar sir it's a great book and i would recommend that you read this book during your second year mbbs time so that your entire concepts are very clear of hematology and you become a good doctor in the future this entirety of hematology again is a unit in medicine so again with reading pathology hematology you are also doing parts of medicine you can see why medicine is uh, such a vast subject because in medicine you have to read everything once again and you have to develop protocols you have to develop treatment algorithms and learn how to manage the patient on the spot so that's the beauty of medicine and that's why i took medicine as my pg branch moving on to third year subjects we have got psm we've got forensic medicine at the moment that i'm recording this here forensic medicine is not that important to be very honest to be very frank forensic medicine has got little value as you grow as in your doctor profession uh, the medical legal importance is extremely high of forensic medicine but the entirety of autopsy the various autopsy methods i don't think you will be ever encountering something like that if you choose a super specialization let's say that you choose a surgery as a future profession nobody is going to ask you what is the different ways of doing autopsy so the medical legal aspect of fmd is extremely important and the toxicology of fmd is very important again toxico is another unit in medicine toxicology bahut acche se padho medical legal aspect read it well read it thoroughly because it will help you become a good doctor and it is very commonly asked in your neat pg exam now what i want you to remember is that from uh, psm psm is the next subject psm mein you have to read park park is a very good book i genuinely say this without being sarcastic for the first time that park is a good book and even though you might feel in the peer pressure that park aise hai waise hai once you try to read that book you will feel good about it so yeah uh, thank you mr park i have my check for $5000 now for your promotion thanks <laughs> anyways just just kidding guys <laughs> just kidding but psm is also very important for your neat pg uh, one thing which i'd like to uh, say over here is that when you are in third year this is the time then you can actually study the final year subjects as well and in third year i want you to study a bit about the surgical subjects of final year so obgyn hai surgery hai ent hai ophthalmopedic so all of these are five surgical subjects in final year that you will be reading in third year you can choose any two of these and you can just finish off make sure that you are taking notes because from third year all the notes that you take will be very very useful during your neat pg time even in fact i use some of my notes of community medicine ent which i made back in the day when i was in third year during my neat pg which i gave during my internship so notes should be handy and the surgical subjects why i'm telling you to do this because in third year you you will see a lot of people reading a lot of different subjects right apart from third year subjects so people will go and read medicine but to be very honest you don't retain medicine that well that you do retain surgery and obgyn so if i were in your place i would definitely read surgery i would definitely read obgyn these are wonderful subjects which retain in your brain for a quite long time all right now we come to the biggest year that is final year of mbbs in here the most important subject i would like to say is obgyn it's not medicine it's not surgery with respect to neat pg the most important subject my friends is obgyn and i urge you to do obgyn from marrow it's really a good source of marrow and sakshi ma'am studios are unbeatable so obgyn you have to do from marrow and in obgyn please remember that for obstetrics you have to please attend your gynecology postings your obstetric postings because once you actually see and when you do the labor ward posting or the gynecology posting you will see how the algorithms are into play and uh, basically how whatever you are reading is very very real and how much it can impact somebody's life so obstetrics and gynecology both are important gynec is very very easy so you have to read about different cancers and that's the high yield point that cancers are very frequently tested upon from obgyn so make sure that you are reading well about cancers and can are a really really miserable situation to happen to anybody as a doctor you should be very well versed with the different treatment guidelines for cancer different stages of cancer not just that the vaccines which can prevent cancer especially in gynecology we've got cervical cancer vaccines so all of this can potentially save somebody's life and that all comes down to you becoming a good doctor obgyn ho gaya next we move on to surgery which was one of my most favorite subjects during final year and surgery mein what you have to do is that again read your clinical books well so you can read bailey if you want you can read srb or manipal but 
apart from that make sure that you read some sort of book like makhan lal shah or s das they are both great books for surgery in surgery what i want you to do is i want you to make a table so surgery can be very well studied from tables so you can make a table for git which looks something like this so in this table you are writing the serial number then you are writing the name of the disease the silent features the x ray or the usg or ct scan features and then the guidelines that we follow the name of those guidelines and lastly some notes for the treatment or something like that this table will save you hours and hours of time during your pg preparation because once you look at this table you would have essentially looked at an entire unit i made a table like this for git which was very very high yield so entirety of git i used to cover in like 30 45 minutes so you can imagine like entire one book of srb combined and shortened to 45 minutes which will eventually help me a lot in my need pg preparation next we go to medicine as far as medicine is concerned in final year your main goal should be to get with get done with whatever video sources that you are following because nowadays medicine is being taught very beautifully in any of the video sources that you find so marrow ho ya dusre coaching app so uh, medicine is great i personally loved rakesh sir's medicine the most out of all the medicine which i have studied that was also very big influencing factor on why i chose medicine in the first place so i would recommend yeah that should be your main goal in final year i know it can be very taxing it's a long long subject but it's very rewarding as well uh, in medicine one key thing we have to remember is that please remember about the acid based disorders don't leave them many many clinical questions are asked from acid based disorders during your need pg time next we move on to pediatrics in pediatrics you have to remember the newest guidelines of pediatrics uh, always you have to remember whatever they are launching new with respect to vaccination pediatrics as such is an easy subject and once you have done medicine biochemistry all of this pediatrics becomes easy so nothing really to talk much about there but one thing which is the most high yield in pediatrics is the genetic diseases so every single genetic disorder that you can find uh, that you can read from pediatrics from easy ones like down syndrome klein filter turners to something which are bit complex like cystic fibrosis noonan syndrome all of these things are bit complex so try to read the genetic disorder as well because from pediatrics that is where they ask a lot of questions from and next of course is the milestones so in pediatrics try to learn the milestones very well uh, if you go and see a child always try to find the child's age by your own using your milestones and then ask the parents ki what is the age of this child so that feels really really good next coming on to short subjects now to be very honest short subjects uh, as of final year you don't really have to worry that much most importantly you have to remember is dermatology very easy to score okay very easy to score and ortho very easy to score so you just have to read a bit about these in ortho the named fractures are always tested upon in dermatology if you can go to wikipedia and search for all the images that would be fine if you can make a pad uh, notebook of all the different images of dermatology which are commonly asked that would be great it would be a great thing for you to revise as far as psychiatry is concerned anesthesia is concerned i don't want to talk much about that because nobody really studies them so i'm just assuming you are also not studying them you can read them uh, really quickly from other sources uh, when you are actually preparing for the neat pg exam as of final year you don't need to read that much in final year read as much as your prof requires you to do otherwise don't push a lot of efforts into smaller subjects because they will be not high yielding to you right now because they are very easy to forget so yeah that was sort of an entire guide a 20 minute guide on exactly how do you study from first year all the way till final year i have covered most of the things which i wanted to talk about uh, i've talked about different subjects what to do what to not do and i hope that you found this video useful so if you did please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe my channel in fact i would like to go ahead and say that uh, this was just one video of 20 minutes but my blueprint program which is exclusively tailor made for neat pg students has 7 hours of content which is an exact guide on how do you crack neat pg in your first attempt especially if you're an intern especially if you're starting a preparation from second third or final year uh, that's exactly what i did when i was preparing it has got everything unfiltered like which apps to use what are the teachers that you follow how do you use the btr how do you solve the question banks how many gts to give how to increase your marks in your gts how to guess properly what is the elimination framework once you get stuck what to do 6 months before the exam 2 months before the exam and 2 weeks before the exam and also on the day of the exam so it's basically jam packed guidance it's like you're completely sat with the senior for 7 hours and every single thing about neat pg that i knew i have transferred that into the blueprint you can go check out my blueprint it's got more than 4000 members so that's crazy and 99% of students say that blueprint has helped them save at least 2 to 3 months of their preparation so you can go check it out i've got a link in the description all right that's been it from my side guys and i'll see you in the next one this is dr anuj signing out bye